How long do you think when the humble internal combustion engine gets as old as that? Well, the petrol media says there's still time for it. But there's no doubting the fact that EVs are here and for good. Which is why we have the new and updated TVS iQ with us today and it is raring to go up against the current electric scooter benchmark, the Aether 450X. The TVS iQ is the first EV from a legacy manufacturer that is TVS Motor Company, a company known for its well-engineered scooters and motorcycles. And the Aether 450X from Aether Energy, a company which started off as a startup but has managed to hold its own despite all the social media noise and hype surrounding EVs and the recent controversies around the whole EV two-wheeler segment. And we have set the stage for a fun comparison of the two. Are both these scooters equally matched in terms of performance, practicality and comfort? Or is there a different story to tell? Well, that's what you're here to find out, right? Correct. If you're in the market for an electric two-wheeler, should you go with a newer brand like Aether Energy? Or should you put your money on a brand as well known as TVS Motor Company. Let's go find out. Absolutely. Let's talk about the TVS iCube first. It was recently updated. Now, we have the new but the base variant, which only gets extended range of up to 100 kilometers instead of 75 kilometers earlier. And TVS says that the figure is real world. And the battery pack size goes up from 2.25 kilowatt hour on the older model to 3.04 kilowatt hour on the new model. In addition to white, the scooter now gets shining red and titanium grey colours. The Aether 450X has been around for over a year now. It gets a 2.9 kilowatt hour battery pack with true range of 85 kilometers in the eco mode. That's about 15 kilometers less than the iQ. The TVS iQ was available in only one single colour so far in white. This one, the new iCube, is of course available in a variety of colors, but as luck would have it, our test color still comes in white. Overall, it's a conventional design, quite a safe design, looks like a conventional petrol powered scooter, but build quality is quite nice. I think it's quite a handsome looking scooter, panel gaps are nice, overall well built, well finished, handsome looking scooter, universally appealing, everybody will like the scooter. Personally for me, I quite like the way the iCube looks. Right. The Aether 450X is clearly the trendier, edgier, sexier looking scooter of the two. And of course, look at the colour. It definitely sits very well with the young hipster crowd. And uh, yes, as far as the sporty, sensuous appeal is concerned, the Aether 450X, I think, takes the cake. But yes, the TVS iCube has a wider mass appeal. Yes, the Aether 450X is more radical, more sharp, more lean. But the TVS IQ, just look at it, well proportioned, quite handsome looking scooter overall. There's a 5 inch color TFT display on the IQ, along with Bluetooth connectivity and a few features like geofencing, turn by turn navigation, etc. There's also a USB charger and full LED lighting, along with two riding modes Eco and Power. TVS also offers a low speed reverse assist feature on the IQ as well. The Aether 450X easily has the upper hand when it's come to features. It gets SIM-based connectivity, that means a whole lot of connectivity features. Then there's a 7-inch full-color TFT touchscreen as standard along with inbuilt navigation and full LED lighting and a reverse assist and over-the-air updates. Optionally, you also get tire pressure monitoring system on the Aether 450X. Aether also has the Aether grid network to juice up your scooter and at home, you can use the conventional power socket to recharge it. On the move, the Aether clearly has the edge in performance. It is quicker, accelerates faster, and with four riding modes, it certainly has tall loops of performance to overshadow the iQ. But if you're looking for a relaxed and calm outing with electric scooter, it is the iQ which offers a sedate and comfortable experience. Going with its sporty character, the Aether certainly has the dynamics to back it. But show it some bad roads or no roads, the stiff ride quality begins to show the chink in its armour. The iQ on the other hand offers a well damped and a comfortable ride experience even over bad roads. 
And if you look at from a performance point of view, it's the Aether 450X, which is quicker off the line. It's got more riding modes, it's got eco, it's got ride, it's got sport, and a definite, definite performance in a warp mode, which goes really, really quick off the line. Compared to that, the iCube also is a smooth performer, but if you look at pure performance, this one is the quicker of the two, isn't it? Absolutely. In fact, uh, if you compare the 0 to 40 kilometers per hour acceleration run, that is almost a second quicker than the iCube. But on the other hand, if you keep the performance bit aside, the iCube seems to have a better, you know, planted feel. It has a better ride quality, very plush suspension. And even in corners, the IQ feels much more planted. That gives you much more confidence uh, when negotiating corners. And, uh, what do absolutely, you say? absolutely. The Aether comes with MRF tires and the IQ comes with TVS tires. It's the TVS tires which are grippier, gives you more confidence when you're taking corners. The IQ handles pretty well. The Aether also handles pretty well. But if you're going really quick, really taking corners hard, it's the IQ which remains more planted and on top of that it's got a wider footboard, you sit more comfortably, the seat is broader and the suspension, the ride quality, the IQ which trumps the Aether on many counts over all kinds of surfaces. And one more thing, the braking on the IQ is definitely sharper, better, much more progressive than on the 450X. Yes, that's not to say that the Aether 450X, the brakes are not good, they are quite good, they've got good bite. But the brakes on the Aether 450X, it's rear bias. So if you use the left lever, the rear tends to lock up a lot more. But the IQ, you get sure short stopping power. As far as charging times are concerned, the 450X takes less time to charge than the IQ. From zero, the 450X takes about 3 hours and 35 minutes to charge fully on the Aether Dot. While the TVS takes up to 4 hours and 30 minutes to charge fully, a 650 watt charger. Now, the strange fact is the charger does not come bundled with the IQ and one must purchase it separately for about 9450 rupees. The standard model of the TVS IQ that we tested has an on road price of 99,130 rupees after FAME 2 and state subsidies, while the Aether 450X is priced at 1,44,051 rupees which is the on-road price in Delhi after all subsidies. Now, if you look at the current electric scooter segment, you have to really hand it to Aether Energy for creating the benchmark that the Aether 450X provides. Great performance, fantastic features, built-in navigation, touchscreen instrument console, and of course, a funky, youthful design. That's right. Overall, I think this is a well-rounded product which should be on your consideration if you're in the market for an electric scooter right now. Overall, Fantastic performance, looks good, and has got all the features that you need. And on top of that, it's got the Aether grid network. So if you're riding in the city, running out of power, you can just go to any of the network points, the Aether grid point, charging points, and charge up, have a cup of coffee, maybe juice up the scooter, and then on the go. Right. But if you're looking for an electric scooter, which is much more practical, comfortable, and gives you that you know peace of mind when you're on the move, then it is the TVS iCube. Really handsome looking scooter, moves really well, smooth performance, of course it handles really well and of course has the better ride quality of the two, plush suspension, good build quality and uh, as far as pricing is concerned, this is slightly lesser as well. So if you look at the overall package, both of them have their pros and cons, so it is up to you, the customer, who chooses which design, which feature he wants to go with. So if you're looking for a scooter which is more performance oriented with more features, it's the Aether 450X which you should consider at this point of time. Of course, that's the IQ standard variant, but TVS has also upgraded the TVS IQ S, and there's also an IQ ST with more features, more range than even the Aether 450X. So once we get to ride them, the IQ will have more range, more features for sure. So if it's a performance-oriented scooter that you're looking for, it's still the 450X, but the IQ is a more practical, more comfortable, everyday scooter which you can replace very easily your standard petrol-powered scooter at this time. Absolutely.